web was a problem to me. And, and so there, there was two things that I wanted to do with it. One, if you take a look at the way that it had been done all the way up to the point that I came on to it, it was straight lines, like two or three straight lines, and then they put X's in it. You know, so it like a netting. It was more like a netting. And, and, it, and, and it was functional as long as you were drawing a panel left or right or going backwards. But where it never worked was if you wanted to shoot towards camera. And a couple guys tried it, and, and the line just got bigger, and the X's just got clunkier, and it just was like, are, are you kidding me? So I wanted, to, I wanted to try and come up with something that could actually move, not only move towards camera, but you actually believe that it was webbing. And so, so Tom DeFalco, who's editor-in-chief, although he denies it, I was just talking to him recently, going, I never called it spaghetti webbing. He did it. He was, he's Italian. And, and he called me in his office one day because I got clarity on this one. We went, stop drawing that darn spaghetti webbing thing that you're doing. And I was like, yeah, that's it. I got a name for it. So it's actually a very good name because for people out there who aren't comic book fans, that's what it looks like now. So when he hits the button, it's almost like, remember when we were kids, we had the Play-Doh and you squeeze it and like little strands come out. We'll take that on a smaller level and about six or seven come out, but three or four of them go like this. And then two of them go and they wrap around it, almost like creating like a, a rope right on the spot, except for it's a lot more loose or something like that and a little gooier. And so what it allowed me to do now is that given that those strands were actually, I had to draw each one. I mean, if you take a look at some of my artwork, like the last thing I did on every page was to do those darn webbings.